What's good, YouTube? This week, I'm gonna take you on a special video tour of my home studio. And I'm gonna teach you how to set up all the basic components. Rock with me. Welcome to my first Behind the Beats studio tour video. In this video, we're gonna go over a studio tour, which is basically a tour of my studio. I'm also going to give you a brief tutorial on how to set up a basic setup. Here's a basic diagram I created of my current setup. This also represents a basic setup with common hardware devices you might find in your typical studio setup. My current setup includes my computer, sound card, my speakers, MIDI controllers, beat machine, synthesizer, and microphone. First, let's go over my computer. No matter what kind of computer you're using, your computer's job is generally to run your DAW program. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. There are many to choose from on both PC and Mac. Some popular examples are Logic, Pro Tools, Reason, FL Studio, and the list goes on. Tip number one, make sure you install all your hardware drivers correctly if you want them to work well without any problem. I like FL Studio as a door. I've been using it for a long time, it's very intuitive. It's actually continued to get better and better over recent versions. It's also good to have a Mac set up with Reason, Pro Tools, and Logic in case you're going to work with any producers that may prefer these applications. Now on to my MIDI controller. I have an M-Audio Axiom 49 key MIDI controller. It's a great controller. It comes with 8 knobs, mixers, and 8 kick pads, which are all assignable. It's USB powered, so only one cable is needed for both data and power. On the back of the MIDI controller, you'll find the following ports. An EXPR port, a sustain port, MIDI out and MIDI input ports, USB port of course, a 12 volt DC power port, and your power switch. It also comes with the typical octave, modulation, and pitch bend features. The LCD makes it easy to see what settings you're changing. So as you change octaves, it's represented by the number in the screen. And as you go below, you see negative two, negative three. As you go up, you go into the positives. And this is gonna change the octaves of the keys. With more than 20 additional assignable buttons, this MIDI controller is very powerful and scalable. I'm very happy with it. As long as you install the software that comes with the Axiom and set up the drivers properly, you will not have any problems with this MIDI controller. Sound card. This is your main component next to your computer and it's important that it's installed and configured properly if you want it to work well without having any problems. Once it's configured properly, you can connect other devices like MIDI controllers, synthesizers, microphones, instruments, and much more. This is your main hub of your studio setup. So you want to make sure you get a good one that will fulfill all of your needs and scale as you grow as a producer. I have an M-Audio Fast Track Pro. In the back, it has the following ports. MIDI input and output, audio outputs, two TRS outputs, insert, S slash PDIF in and outputs, 48 volt PH power switch, USB port, AC power port, and power button. In the front, it has two inputs for either an instrument or a microphone. Each input is set up the same. 
Each side has gain knobs for value control, a pad button to adjust the gain. Over here we have a gain output knob, mixer knob, an AB switch, and a gain knob for the headphones. I like my Fast Track Pro and I highly recommend it. It was easy to set up, it's powerful, yet small and flexible enough for me to take on the go using my laptop and get a lot of use out of.